she grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth BMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. The newest addition to the Basscat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Fast cap boats. Feel the rush. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse, click, save, fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. Hey, welcome in everybody to the BAM Trail. <laughs> yeah, we're day two out here in Lake Oroville for the Bass Bow Technologies BAM Trail. And I'll tell you what, day two is very important because today is, is cut, cut day. day. <laughs> That's right. We're going to take this field down to 10 boats tomorrow. They'll be fishing for a little, what, right around $9,000, right? Around right? Nine grand on the pro side and uh, around 3000 on the co side. That's a great payday for three days worth of work right there. Not so bad. I mean, there's a, you know, Mark, this event's going well. We've had a lot of things going on. A few little mistakes were made yesterday. I don't want to say mistakes. We didn't make any mistakes, but we had some technical difficulties. It's only our second event. Roll with us, please. If you see this machine behind us, yes, yesterday we were, everybody let us know that it wasn't reading correctly. It wasn't zeroing out before we had the next one. We checked all of our scales. They were all right. We had them recertified. We had them rechecked. Everything was perfectly fine yesterday. No weights were off. The this, this little display back here, that was our problem. Thank you for letting us know that this was an issue. We did take it. We got a brand new one, as you can see. We want you to still be out there, still watching, still checking out, and knowing this right here is going to actually be working today. Like uh, it's, it's supposed to. It's, yeah, like it's supposed to. So all we can do is you know, implement new things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for voicing your concerns. We do appreciate that. We're up here today. And Mark, now that these guys are, it's, they're about ready to come in. You've had all day. You've been out there on the boat. You've watched a few of them fish. The day has definitely changed. We are dealing with high bluebird skies. The sun is up. It's warm. 
There is no wind out here as compared to yesterday. What do you think changed out there, and how do you think these guys are going to catch more fish? I, I think the reaction bite is slowed, definitely slowed way down, especially with these high skies, clear skies, high pressure. The reaction bite is slowed down. Now, saying that, the guys that weigh in early are not going to weigh as much as the guys weighing in late because we have this high pressure, but we have high sun, so it's really heating up the water. I'm going to say some of these fish are going to move up shallow, Especially if we have a lot of pleasure boaters out here running up and down the bank, get the bank a little bit muddy. These guys throwing baits right up on the bank. In this, if the water gets muddy, they're going to catch them, and they're going to catch some big ones. All right. I mean, that sounds like what should be going on out there. We hope they do. I mean, guys like Ish Monroe yesterday said that same thing. He's like, you know, they, they should have been moving up yesterday. They should have been going up. He wasn't seeing them quite that way. Saw them pulled out a little bit. One single day of, of good warmth, should start moving them up that that will move them up now you know there's always variables so if they start <laughs> pulling a lot of water here yeah. now some big fish will still move up but a lot of those fish will be timid and those fish will go out and suspend a little bit so maybe some guys fishing some ridge pilings some real steep bluffs those fish could move up shallow on those and you could catch them that way so we'll we'll see who makes the great adjustments um, i'm going to say Greg Gutierrez is really good at making those adjustments. Mm. If, if the big ones are up shallow, Ish Monroe's going to do well. Yeah. Um, you know, Zach Thompson, you know, he, Zach is kind of a wild card. He, he just seems to just catch them wherever he goes. He's a heck of an angler. You know, you've got great anglers out there. I mean, there's guys who live here. Jody, Jody, Jody White. White's out there, you know, and he does as well as anybody else on this lake. We've got some big names out there. You just named a few. And there are guys who definitely understand this lake, how to make those adjustments. And I think we're going to see some better weights than yesterday. I feel like yesterday we saw a lot of nines and tens. Do you think, you know, you you almost, I would say you called it yesterday with it being it 14 pounds. You said it would take between 14 and 15 pounds. It was a little over 14 pounds to take first place. Uh, Aaron, Britt. Aaron, Aaron Britt sitting in first place right now. And, you know, he went out there and he did it. Now, he could absolutely, the guy is a heck of a stick. He can go out there right now and he can catch a bunch of fish. But he is, And he lives in Yuba City, so he fishes this pond all of the time. Exactly. He knows where they live and he knows how to catch them. So I, I wouldn't put it past him to weigh a big bag today. Okay, so I'm going to say that we're going to see a lot more 12s and 13-pound bags than we are going to see 9s and 10s. Where do you put it? I'm, I'm going to say there's going to be a flip-flop. There's going to be some 12 to 14-pound bags, and there's also going to be some guys that don't catch them very well. Maybe guys that, you know, the wind died down, the bite slowed down, so maybe they're going to be worming. They're probably going to weigh some smaller bags if that happens. Okay. You know, once again, just like, just like every time we come up here on the stage, we're talking to the fans that have come up and showed up for Cut Day here. We're talking to all of you millions out there watching us live on YouTube right now, watching us on Facebook, watching us on Instagram. If you're out there, thank you for tuning in right now. We do appreciate it. But we want to say a big thank you to some of these great, great sponsors that have come out. You know, StoreQuest. Bass Boat Technologies, Tackle Warehouse. Tackle Warehouse, Fisherman's Warehouse for supporting our live release boat over here, which we put back so many fish yesterday and never had a single one come back on us. They all went down great. Everything was, I mean, our fish, our fish handling, our conservation, we've really stepped it up, and guys and, and companies like Fisherman's Warehouse have really made that possible. Bass Cat Boats, you know, I mean, Bass Cat makes an awesome, awesome boat. Just a really solid boat. If you're looking for a boat, that is going to last you 10 or 15 years, take a look at the Bass Cat. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you, I've had five of them now, and I, I swear I have not one stress crack in any of them. That's pretty good. That is pretty good out there, you know, when you're looking at the, all these things out here. I mean, we've got places like Power Pull. This is a national brand who's known everywhere in the world, like Bass Cat. You know, and you've got some of the local ones. You've got Wood Brothers. You've got Oakley. You've got Sticky Graphics coming out and doing the graphics for everything. You've got Valley Outdoors showing us, showing off their showing the wares, showing off, jerseys, off yeah. the jerseys, the hats, the, all, coming out. It takes all of these people. You can look right behind me and see all these great sponsors: Eternal Lithium, Garmin. I mean, Toyota. And they've stepped up. They've helped us out with this tour. This tour is only going to get bigger and badder and better. We haven't even started off our pro tour yet, which starts off in 
two weeks, weeks three two, weeks, two or three yeah. weeks we go. We ended up on April fifth uh, through the eighth. Yes. Fifth okay. To, fifth to the seventh. Fifth at, through the seventh uh, at, at Lake Martinez. Lake Martinez will be down there for the first Pro Tour event. There are going to be a heck of a lot of really good sticks at that lake. We got a heck of a lot of good sticks out here. This tour is going to turn into something great on the West Coast. That's what you're shooting for. That's what we're trying for. And we really appreciate all the sponsors. And we really appreciate all the people out here you today guys. coming out supporting us and all of you watching at home right now. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I, I have to thank the crew. I have a great crew. I got Ed, you know, and about eight other guys that really help. I, I mean, I won't say I can just sit back, but I can go off and take care of those little things I need to take care of, and everything else gets taken care of. These guys set it up, tear it down, uh, just do an amazing job. So thank you very much. Thanks, Ed, yeah, Dave, we, Michael. We, we love being out here. I mean, this is, this is not only, you know, your sport that you've come up with and you just decided to make this tour. All of us here, this is a sport that we enjoy, we love as much. So being up here, having something, trying to grow it into one of the largest sports out here on the West Coast, maybe not the biggest sport on the West Coast, but it definitely will be, in your opinion, I hope, it's going to be one of the biggest fishing events on the West Coast. I think so. You know, we're doing nothing but getting bigger and bigger. Um, we've had TV uh, crews come out the last two events, twice at Shasta, maybe twice here, we'll see. Um, but, we're, you know, we're getting on the nightly news, and we're introducing bass fishing to people that have never heard of bass fishing or have never been bass fishing before. So, you know, that's our goal is to get more people out bass fishing. Come on, let's get out there. Let's go out and catch some fish. Let's have some fun. If you haven't done it, you, you can't imagine just how much fun it is. Thirty years ago, I caught my first bass, and, I, and I'll tell you, I was just hooked ever since. 30 years. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, now you're standing up here on the stage. You know, you've taken this step. You're in this new role where, you know, you're behind the scenes, I want to say, mo for the most part. You know, this is your tour. This is your event. You're putting everything into it for one big reason. I mean, you've seen how these things can go. You're watching some of the greatest out there in the MLF, the Bassmaster events. You're watching those. You've fished those. You've seen how those things go. And that's what you're trying to turn this into, is something on the West Coast that guys can come out and start making a living at, women can make a living at, kayaker events that they can come out here and start making something. So, you know, honestly, we appreciate the fact that you're bringing this out here for so many of these great anglers out here that want to come out and show what they can do on the water. You know what, there was a little hole out here on the West Coast that, that needed to be filled. And I thought, I own, a, I own a national bass fishing magazine, Bass Angler Magazine, and I thought, combined with the magazine, my fishing knowledge, and I've been fishing tournaments a long, long time. Haven't been running them very long, but I've fishing them a long time. And I figured that with my, with my knowledge and the magazine, we can create a great tour. And really, we're on a great, we're on a great start, and it's gonna do nothing but grow. Well, we're looking out here. Every time we go to an event, we've got bigger and bigger and bigger crowds starting to show up. These guys have got support. These people that are fishing, the, the gentlemen, the men, the women that want to come out and fish, you can. Bring your friends, bring your families. And if everybody's sitting out here, just, you know, hey, bring your neighbors one time. You know, tell them, hey, why don't you come and check this out. Come support your family member that you came out here to, to support. And I'll tell you what, it'll, uh, it'll be a good show. Uh, All right, I think I'm going to get over to, well, uh, we to got the guys, Yeah, here. we guys got guys coming come in. Up. We got guys coming in. Thank so you very much. All right. Well, thank you for coming up here. We really right. appreciate right. you, Mark. Get over there and get back to work now. Uh, and we will uh, we'll take a, a commercial. And when we take that commercial, we'll come back and we'll start weighing some of these Oroville bass. So stay tuned. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. 
The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth BMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. The newest addition to the Basscat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats. Feel the rush. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse, click, save, fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. All right, welcome back to the BAM Trail right here. We are at the beautiful Lake Orville Bass Boat Technology BAM Trail and we are getting ready to weigh some fish. I hope everybody out there is ready to weigh some fish. So let's go ahead and bring up our first angler and weigh these fish. Mr. Jody White, come on up here. All right, man, how are you today? This is cut day. You ready for this? I know you get excited. I don't think I'm going to make it, but I had a lot of fun. Caught about 42 pounders today. So. You going to weigh a big fish today? No, no. Yeah. You ready? Uh, yeah, go ahead and set them in there. All right, let's see. 10.82. That is right now going to put you in the top 10, but I don't think you're going to go ahead and stay there for very long, my friend, because there's a lot of anglers coming up. So thanks for coming out. We really appreciate it. We'll see you at the next one. Oh wait, you don't put them back in there real quick. Put them back in there. Put them back in there real quick. I want to. I want to print you out. Go ahead. No, I just want to print you out your scale. <laughs> it, well, you get 1075, but you don't have three pounders. <laughs> Our skills aren't that. <laughs> Here, this way. Okay, well, we'll talk with Mark about it. All right, let's bring him on up to the stage right now. Mark Borges coming up here. Set him in there for just a second. Do you have a big fish to weigh? Do not. You do not. Okay. Got five of them. Here's where the thing is. <laughs> Got five of them. Want to thank everybody for coming out and bam, it's a great tournament circuit. Want to? Th we just had a great time. Got two good co-anglers. Everything was great. All right, man. Let's set those fish up in there and see what you got. You're not. But you are going to have 8.15. Not bad. That's a good good second day. All right. Thanks for coming out. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you at the next event. Thank you very much. All right. Give me one second. It's freaking my whole TV is flattened out. I can't see a thing. I don't know who's coming up or what the weight is. All right. So I got Ivan. 
Lazarian coming up. All right, let's bring up Ivan Lazarian. Zarian or Zarian? Lazarin. All right, I, 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 you know I'm trying always, man. I'm going to do the best I can. How many fish you got today? I got five today. You going to weigh a big fish? Uh, unfortunately not. All right, let's set them up in there. You needed 426 to make No, you you needed 570 to make it, and you ended up with 856. So right now, you're sitting in the top 10, and you're going to be fishing on day three. Now, I'm not sure how you feel about that, but you think it's going to hold out? I don't think so, unfortunately. I didn't have a good, good enough bag yesterday, but I had a lot of fun today. A lot of fun today and a lot of fun yesterday. All right, well, if nothing else, we will see you at the next event. Thank you, sir, for coming out. We really appreciate you. i got to fix this freaking thing. All right, let's bring him up. Sam Villarreal! All right, Sam, you need 476 to make this. You going to weigh a big fish today? No. All right, so set him up in here. 476 is what we're looking for. Oh, you got it easy. 10.86. That's going to put you in there, man. Now you're gonna be in tent. You're gonna be up there at the top for let's see. You're in second right now, just behind Jody. Just for a couple minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like pretty confident you can be there? I don't think so. There's a good group of guys behind me, but I had fun today. It was good. Well, yeah. if we don't see you, we'll see you at the next one, and if we do, then we'll see you tomorrow. You betcha. <laughs> Thank you. Why is my TV freaking low and at the wrong angle? All right, and I don't know who's coming up. Are we go. Somebody coming? In? Who do we got coming up next? <laughs> Mark, quit talking. We need music going between the people. And who's coming up today? Burbank. Mike's Burbank. We got to give it just a second here. I don't have anything coming up, so I don't know where we can put you, and your skate, your weight won't go to your weight. I don't know why. There we go. Mike Spurback up here. Right? That's what you need? Well, it says here that you need two pounds and four ounces to make the top. Do you have a big fish to weigh? Then let's set these up in here. It's not. But we're going to set these in here. And you're going to have 9.50, though, today. So right now, that puts you in the top ten. You don't think so? I don't know what to tell you, sir. Um, we have 950. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, hold on one second. Just, I mean, you can take them back right there. We weigh them. We can do what you want. I can talk to Mark real quick. Have a seat. Have, let's go back over here real quick and check this. Let me check them out. Let me check with Mark real quick. Figure out what's going on. Mark? She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth BMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. The newest addition to the BassCat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96 inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. 
Fast Cap Boats, feel the rush. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003 with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click, save, fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pool. All right, welcome back. Just dealing with some of these little bitty of uh, little technical difficulties. We're trying to make this all right for everybody out there. Thank you for sticking around. Thanks for tuning back in. We're going to do the very best we can. If the scales are off at any weight, they're going to be off for everybody, so the weight's going to be the same. We're not changing anything right now, and we're going to go up. And right now, we're going to bring up Mike Spurback again. I'm going to give this a try. We've kind of explained what's been going on, but I, I feel like we're here. Let's set them in there. You have no big fish to weigh. Let's set them up in here. Right now, you needed, and you've got 951. So after all of that, we got you another ounce. We got, no, we got you one one hundredth of an ounce. I, thank you for waiting, and thank you for getting that extra time. Appreciate you, Mike. Um, yeah, let's not, let's uh, fix the screen again. There we go. Thanks, guys. All right, our next angler coming up right now. Chad Gamuka. I got to get that U correct in there. You got a big fish to weigh today? He's going to be weighing in. How many fish are going to be weighing today? One fish. One, One fish today. You need 545 to make the top 10. Is that a 545 pound fish? No, sir. Well, let's put him up here and see what he is then. He needs 545. He's going to have... 1.40. All right, man. I don't think that's going to get you up there. So you got anybody you want to say thanks to or anything today? I just wanted to say thanks to both my pros, thanks to all my sponsors, and uh, thanks to you guys. You guys are putting on a great show. So Thank you. We are trying our very best to give you the best we can. You there you go. Thank you for this. Okay. 0.65. Give me one second. Hold on, Aaron. <laughs> we'll bring you right. We'll bring you up here. I want to bring you up right especially. So come on up, Aaron. <laughs> Mr. Aaron Britt coming to the stage. Now, do you have – I'm going to do this because make sure that we're getting you exactly the right weight. So, you have any big fish going away? Let's set them up in here. Right now, Aaron needs nothing. He's in the lead. You need nothing to get into the lead. That's a good feeling. And you take 992. You're still leading right now. How was the day for you? Did it change a lot? Uh, yeah, I'm starting to run out of fish right now, but uh, if I get to go again tomorrow, I'm going to just change plans and go out and go fishing, have fun, see what bites. Well, we definitely hope we get to see you tomorrow. You're a heck of a stick. We really appreciate you coming up by here today. James Rogers needs 11 ounces. All right, Mr. James Rogers coming up here. You got a big fish to weigh today? All right, set him in there. Now, you needed 11 ounces to make it. You did that easy with 888. Eight, eight. I feel like we had that number yesterday, too. But thanks, man, for coming out. We'll see you tomorrow for sure. So how was it today for you? Um, it was a good day. All right, man. Thanks for coming out.
All right, Timothy Bank is coming on up. You going to weigh a big fish today? No, no, sir. All right, set them on in there. It sounds like there's not a lot of big fish coming in today. 896, good weight. Now that puts you up. You need a 537 to get in. That'll put you up in there. Let me see where that puts you. Right about fifth right now. Are you feeling pretty comfortable about staying in fifth after with all those guys behind you? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, hopefully we get to see you tomorrow. But if we don't, we'll see you at the next event, and thank you for coming out. Thank you very much. Give me one. <laughs> Randy Marshall coming up right now. All right, set him on in there, Randy. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Let's see what we get. 833. Good weight. You needed, it says you needed like nothing to get in. Let's see, seven. That puts you second place overall. Right there. You feeling good about that as a co angler? No. No? Tomorrow? You got a chance, you got, I mean, you got a good chance of being there tomorrow right now. You're up there pretty high. I would love to fish tomorrow, but there is no possible way I'm fishing tomorrow. All right, well, if nothing else, we'll see you to the next event. Thank you for coming up today, Mark Brandy. Appreciate it. All right, coming to the stage right now, let's bring up Mr. Craig Kong. All right, sir, come on up. Set those fish down real quick. Now, do you got a big fish to weigh today? No, I don't. I'm not seeing a lot of big fish today. I, you know, what's going on with that? Got a three-pounder. That's. I was happy to get that one. All right, so you do know that day one and day two are different big fish, right? No, but I don't think a three-pounder is going <laughs> to Well, it's Orville, so let's go ahead and set those fish in there. Let's see if we can get you. 945. Good weight, good weight. Now, I think that puts you at third place right now. There's a chance you could be here tomorrow. Do you feel confident at all that you will be? No, a lot of boats to weigh in. Good anglers. They'll get them. Want to say thanks to anybody out there? Yeah, I want to say thanks to my girlfriend, Paula, my mom, everybody for supporting me. Uh, Spearpoint Hooks, been a great supporter. Um, and you guys, <laughs> you guys, of course. Hey, well, thanks for coming out. We really appreciate it. We'll see you at the next event. Thank you. Thanks. All right, right now I've got Mr. Ted Perry coming up. Set him right there. You need 1.70 pounds. Have you got a big fish to weigh today? Nope. No big nope. fish? Let's set your fish up in here. Four, four. four fish, but his four fish are going to get him. They're going to get you in the top ten with a 4.99. So, are you feeling really comfortable about being here tomorrow? No, not a chance. <laughs> Come on now, it's Orville. You came in with five pounds yesterday. You had some good weight too. There's a good, some good sticks back there, but not everybody's gonna have a great day. Are you? You still not into it, huh? Well, then we'll see you at the next event. All right, thank you, sir. All right, Gregory Trotton's coming up right now. Now he needs 1.58. There's a lot of this coming in, but before you leave, we have something for you too. I know. <laughs> and he's gonna have 9.52. He needed 1.58, so that means you're in the top 10. Now, you moved in by a little over 8 pounds. Okay. Do you feel comfortable with that? No, which is fine because I leave for Cabo at 6.30 Monday morning. So you weren't even trying to get into this. You just came out to help everybody else catch fish? Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> well, what we do have is I have this little thing right here. When you came out, Tackle Warehouse was giving away a $500 gift card for getting into a raffle, for going online, purchasing online and being a part of this tour they're giving you five hundred dollars congratulations my friend thank you do we have the big placard we do it's right there mark's gonna hand that to you we're gonna have you stand right here take some quick pictures all right congratulations i'll give you these fish back you can head off the other stage and then go ahead and uh you know head down to mexico have some fun <laughs> thank you thank All right, next coming up is Mr. Kirk Marshall. Now, Kirk's going to need 10.62 pounds to make it. You got a big fish to weigh? Let's set him in there. He needs 10.62. He's got it. No, just 9.85. So close. Now, you're not going to make it tomorrow. You're going to be, you know, you, you missed the top 10. You want to say thanks to anybody that's out here supporting you? 
just my friends and family and, and Mark for putting on this. Uh, thank you very much. All right, man. We really appreciate it. And what? He's leading what? Come here, Kirk. How did that go that you said he needed that and he didn't have it and now he has it? You got 1949 total. You had 985. You had 964 yesterday. Now you're leading. They just tell me that the computer re-upped having these issues, but we're fixing them. So you're the leader. Don't go anywhere. We will see you tomorrow, I'm fairly sure. All right. Thanks, Kirk. <laughs> One second. Give me one second. Okay. So we're Greg now, right? He needs 60. He needs point six three. Yeah. Okay. All right, Greg. Mr. Greg Gutierrez is going to come up here now. Now Greg's needing point six three. He's got a bag. Are you going to weigh a big fish today? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Put him on in there. We'll weigh all your fish. That's a good weight. He's going to make it easy. Eleven eighty six. Good job. Good job. Now, let's set him back down there. Pull out your big fish. Show him off to the crowd out here. Show him off to the cameraman. And show him off to the millions and millions of people out there watching in YouTube world. There's what they're supposed to look like right there. Good job. Let's throw your big fish in there. 2.66 big fish. New leader right there. He's coming up. Yeah. Well, you got this one, Amos. Printer's not printing again, so we'll get your 286 today. Um, all right, man. So how was the day out there? It changed a lot. I know, you know, Mark and I talked about the fact that you were one of those guys that knows how to adapt to the change. You did it at Shasta. Did you do it out here? And you feel pretty good. I feel pretty good that I caught, caught these fish, but, you know, there was a lot of scrambling going on. I, I had to change um, about four or five spots. I ran from, from Main Lake clear up the west branch i i hit a little bit of the north fork and came back and hit some south fork and uh probably have to do it again if i make it tomorrow's looking good right now oh, i hope so <laughs> all right well we hope we see you tomorrow thanks for coming out give me All right, let's bring up Mr. Steve Hoover next. Now, Steve, shows me here you need 1075 to make it. You got a big fish to weigh? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and put all those fish right in there right now. 294, it says now. You got 1094. Good job in getting that 94 dead on. <laughs> I feel you. I don't know what to tell you right now, but 1094 gets you up there, and it puts you in third place. Are you feeling comfortable with third place? Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right. I had like 30 pounds. That's why I don't understand. I don't either. <laughs> We're doing what it can. Okay. It only is what it is. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's weigh your, let's weigh your big fish. Like a two-pounder, then. Okay, so... You're going to weigh the big fish You get this back up in there. That's a nice one. It's a large mouth that goes 310. Is that what you thought he was? Yeah, roughly. I knew he was a little over 30. We'll hold him right here so these guys can all see it. Nice Orville large mouth. All righty. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I've got way too much going on. So, okay, the next, Joe Cote, I got .92 to make it. Okay. All right. Let's bring out Mr. Joe Cote. Now, he's coming up. He needs .92 to make the top 10. Do you have a big fish you want to weigh today? All right. So let's set your fish up in here. And you're going to make it easy with a 771. You feeling good about that? Tomorrow's a chance. Right now, you've got a good chance of being there. Do you think you're going to be there, though? I mean, there's some good anglers here. Uh, probably not. I think it's going to slide a little bit. But, uh, yeah, really fun weekend. Did it change up a lot for you today? No, same. All right. Well, we hope we see you tomorrow. But if not, we'll see you at the next event. Thank you. All right. Next one coming up, we've got John McClellan. You got a big fish to weigh? I do not. Okay. Let's – no big fish set him there. All right. <laughs> 
All right, and right now you needed 717 to get in. You ended up with nine pounds even. Technically, right now you're in there. Um, you are ninth place. Now you probably aren't going to sit there, is what I'm guessing from everybody else who's already talked. Ninth place not might not hold it out right now. You got anybody you want to say thanks to out there? I'm guessing you're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you to you guys for coming here, first of all. I know State Parks makes it difficult sometimes, but we really appreciate you guys coming, playing in our backyard. Thanks to my wife and family and my brothers who always support me. Just didn't catch them this weekend. It happens. All right, man. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for doing this, and we really appreciate you. All right, next up, I've got Mr. J.R. Wright coming up. Set him around here in a minute. Now, are you going to weigh a big fish? Okay, so let's set all your fish up in here. You need 4.63. Right now, you've got that easy, the 12.42. All right, so now let's set them back down there. We'll weigh this big fish. Pull him out. Show him off to the crowd out here. Show him out to all these people. Show him out to the cameraman and all the people. Wow, nice big fish right there. That's Orville. And that goes 4.22. Good fish right there jr now it changed a little bit out here do you feel like you've got tomorrow you're you're up there pretty good do you think you've got tomorrow figured out and you can come back out and redo this not a prayer uh <laughs> you really don't have nothing figured out i had just an average bag until i caught him i know where there's more like him whether they bite or not or i get the spot i don't know but tomorrow's going to be anybody's game you're just gonna I'm running from one end of the I was all the way at the west branch all the way at the end of the middle I burned a lot of gas so you're just gonna have to go and fish by the seat of your pants all right well there's your weights we hope we see you tomorrow dear Rodney Brown, right? I have two up, and I've got. Is Rodney need one at uh, one ounce, a uh, hundredth of an ounce? I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rodney, come on up here, Mr. Rodney Brown. We're gonna try this out. Now, right now, it tells me you need one one hundredth of an ounce to make the top ten. I think I have. You think you've got that? Figure you've got that much in there? I think I do today. That's a lot of weight. I know I've got it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's set them all up in here first. We'll figure out what your overall weight is. It's centered. We're good. 8.88. That is the second one of those today. That's good. Okay, so take that out. We'll take your big fish. We'll set your big fish right up in here. Tag and all. Show him off to the crowd real quick. Oh, yeah, show that thing. Oh, that's a big. Look at the belly on that one. The nice Oroville spot. And this big fish is going to go 2.57, 2.57. Good job out there, man. How does, how does it feel for tomorrow? If you're making it tomorrow, you only needed a, a hundredth of an ounce, and you crushed that. So there's a chance you make this tomorrow. How's it feeling right now? I feel really good. I have a good solid pattern in how I'm catching my fish. Yep. All right. Well, let's hope we see you tomorrow then. Oh, that is our current leader. It is our current leader, Mr. Rodney Brown. Just walked off there. 20.59. That put him in his current leader. Sorry, I can't see right now very well. I don't know who adjusted it. I don't know who tweaked it. I'm going to try to get it right. Nope. Okay, Antonio Gold coming on up here. That is the right one, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's set him up here for a second. Are you going to weigh a big fish today? How did it go out there today? Give it one. Go ahead. Uh, it went well. You know, uh, a lot of this water has been getting beat up every day, so I didn't go hunting for new water. Stayed where I, I've been, and, uh, you know, I didn't catch any real big ones today, but uh, it was a decent bag, and hopefully I'll fish tomorrow. You're needing 4.34. You've got – are you going to weigh a big fish, you said, or no? No, no. Okay. No big fish. Let's set them on up in there. He needs 434 to make the top 10. He's going to be right there at 9.72. So you're in the top 10 right now. All right. Are you are you feeling good at all? Yeah, we'll see. A lot of people to weigh in still. Okay, there's some good anglers behind you, and I hope we see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. All right, 
Let's bring up Mr. Tim Dominguez. Tim, come on up here. You got a big fish to weigh today? I do not. All right, let's set him up in there. Tim, you need 6.49 to make it. You're going to be just short at 5.48, which means you're going to get uh, right. <laughs> you're going to get a day off tomorrow to rest. That's all we can say. But hey, you came out. You did a great job out there. You fished hard. How did it change for you today? Um, it was it was tough for me. Um, I had a couple of great pros. I'd like to thank them. Um, I had a good time, and it's always fun fishing. Any friends or family you want to thank? No, just you know, my family, my wife, letting me come out. All right. Well, thank you for coming out. We hope to see you on the next event. Thank you. I don't know. It went out with someone. All right. Our next one up here, we're bringing Mr. Wyatt Dubuque up. Dubusk up. It's going to happen. You just know it is, right? I'm right there every time. All right, mister. Do you have a big fish you're going to weigh today? All right, so we're going to weigh all your fish first. You need 6.86. You want to see a 6.86 up here. If it comes up, let's get him in there. We got, oh, yeah, easy, 12.18. Good weight right there. Pull him back down there. We'll take your big fish, pull him out, show him off to the cameras out here. We got millions of people watching on YouTube right now. We got hundreds of thousands of people watching in the stands. And look at that giant fish. That is what you come to Oroville for right there. Here, step to the side just a little bit. Just leave that off. All right, that is a big Orville bass. And that big fish is going to go 4.68. Good job. Now, was that the first fish of the morning? No, like the last. That was the last fish of the day? Yeah, like 310. That had to feel really good then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, it looks like right now that you're probably fourth overall. That's a pretty solid. 2427 is pretty solid weight out here. You could be staying in with that weight do you feel like you could be it's going to be close there's still a lot of guys to weigh <laughs> all right well thank you wyatt we appreciate you we'll hopefully see you tomorrow all right come on up here mr peter zaponsic <laughs> i'll be getting him all right let's see him there no big fish today all right he's got 6.06 .06. that puts you right now you need it. You need a 7.69. So it keeps you just a little bit out of there. So thank you for coming out. You won't be able to fish tomorrow, but hey, you did a great job when you were out there. Fish tomorrow? You gonna fish tomorrow? Sure. Why I not? Know. But, you're, we're not <laughs> but we're not gonna we're not gonna give you a check if you do. <laughs> thank you, sir. I can't see any of the. Oh, there we go. Trent Van Vandenberg. Thirteen. All right, Trent Vandenberg coming up. Right. All right, let's set them in there. Now, it's telling me you need 1351. Now, you had a great day out there, you said, right? Actually, today was not too bad. You think you got 1351? Because if you do, let's put them on the scale. You going to weigh a big fish later? Nope. All right, let's weigh them right now. 1351 is what we're looking for. 9.55, just shy. But, hey, you had a couple good days out. Hold on a second. Print it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure you get that. You had a couple good days out there. You want to thank anybody out there that let you come out and play? Not really. Uh, thank myself, uh, but uh, thank Mark for putting on a great tournament. All right. Well, thank you for coming out. We really appreciate it. We hope we see you in the next one. All right. Now, our next cone coming up to the stage, we got Will Wyman coming up here. Now, Will, it says you need 2.36. Do you have a big fish one away? No. All right. Let's set him up in here. You got to get over 2.36. And you did it with ease. 7.48. Good job. Now, right now, that puts you in sixth place. You got a few more anglers coming up. I'm not sure if that's going to be a holding up. And if not, do you have anybody out there you want to thank? Sure. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Kelly, who's watching, um, for letting me come out here while she's at home with the fur babies. And um, <laughs> thank Mark and all his team. You guys put on a great show. And I'll see you at the next turn. All right, we appreciate you coming out here and doing this with us. And we appreciate your wife for letting you do it. All right, man, you have a great day. Thank you. All right, our next one's coming up here. We've got Mr. Zach Richard coming up. Now, Zach, it tells me you need 1147. You get away a big fish today? All right, let's set those in there. 
We're looking for 1147. We're going to be at 9.22, just outside the cut. But hey, did you have a good time out there? I did. I'm actually looking forward to going to Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then, if nothing else, we will see you at Martinez. We appreciate you coming out and fishing with us. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. All right. Our next one coming to the stage is Mr. Mark White coming up here. All right, Mark, do you have a big fish you want to weigh? All right, let's set him up in there. You needed 3.60. You weren't even sweating at 6.76. Now, it changed a little bit out there. Right now, you're in the top. So, how do you feel about tomorrow? Uh, I will be sleeping in tomorrow because I don't believe I'll be here. There's too many good anglers back there. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mark. We really appreciate you coming out. Thank you. I have no idea who's it. What do we got next, guys? All right, coming up right now, we got Jason Jones. Jason, you need 12.28. Let's see, you got a big fish to weigh? All right, let's set him up in there. You're just going to be shy at 7.30. It was still a good day out there. Thank you for fishing with us, and we hope we see you to the next event. We'll be there. All right, thank you, sir. All right, now we got coming up Mr. Rick O'Callahan. Now he needs 12.28. You got a big fish to weigh? He needs, oh wait, you need 327. This thing's slow. So I'm going to give you the bet, 327. Set him up in there. He says he thinks that he does. He does. He's got 8.83. Good job. Get this thing to print. All right, now let's pull that back out of there. Pull your big fish out. Show him to the camera. Show him to the millions of viewers out there on YouTube right now. All right. That's a nice. <laughs> Hold up one second. We got 2.31 for a big fish. Hold him up one more time so they get a really good camera. Turn that fish. There you go. Good job. Here's your fish. Here's your weight. Hopefully, we see you tomorrow. I'm trying. It's not me. It's All right. Right now, we've got Mr. Isaac Budalesh coming up. All right, man. You get away a big fish? Uh, no. Nope. All right. Let's set him up in there. You need 811 to make it. Top 10. You just made the top 10 at 10.36. All right, good job. I hope we see you tomorrow. I hope so, too. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. All right, the next one coming up, Williams. Hume coming up right now. Come on up here. All right, now it says you need 10.23. You going to weigh a big fish? No. All right, I'm going to stick that. Nothing means anything. Set that whole bag up in there. Says you need 1023. You got 879. You're just under the 1023. The good news is you get to sleep a little bit longer tomorrow. Right. All right, man. I think it's coming out. Appreciate it. Why is this thing doing this? Looking. Uh, half a second here. Zero. There we go. Now we're zero. All right, let's bring him up right now, Mr. Daniel Martinez. Daniel's telling me you need 2.75. I know you've got 2.75 in there. Let's say you're going to weigh a big fish? No big fish today. All right, let's set him up in there. Seven point seven four. That puts you in there right now. Now, from what everybody said, I'm probably not going to keep you there, but do you want to thank anybody out there? Yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, also my mom, my family, and my buddies for supporting me in what I do. All right, man. Thank you for coming out. We, if we hope we see you tomorrow, but if we don't, we'll see you at the next event. All right, coming up right now, we got Jason Austin. Jason, you got big fish? No. All right, set him up in there. You needed 10.90. You got 9.17. You're not going to quite make it, but hey, did you have a good time out there? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> All right, man. Thank you for coming up. All right, our next angler coming up is Mr. James Flicker. Come on up here, James. You want to weigh a big fish? Set him up in there. You need 10.15 to get in. Not quite there, James. Not quite there. 3.29. And I know it's going to print, right? There we go. I want to make sure you get these. Hey, thank you for coming out, Dean. You want to thank anybody out there? Yeah, obviously, my wife and my kids and uh, everybody that supported me. I appreciate it. You know, they come out and support you a lot. Everywhere. I've seen that those faces right there at every one of our events so far. Now, I know there's only two, but they've come out. So that's a great thing right there. I'm glad you're a part of this whole organization, and we'll see you at the next event. All right, Mr. Ish Monroe coming up right now. Ish, you going to weigh a big fish today? Nope. All right, let's set him up in there. You need 9.81. You are just under that with 8.35. Now, how much did it all change today? Uh, it changed a lot. Um, the wind died down to flat calm, and that means the worm bite gets better, and I'm not a worm fisherman, so I don't like to drag worms, and I don't like to use a fairy wand very much, but so I picked it up today just to make sure I catch five, catching points. You know, you want to make the delta because that's where it all goes down. All right, Ish, thank you for coming out. We really appreciate being on the tour right now, and hey, we'll see you at the next event. Thanks. All right, next coming up right now, we got Gasper Busalachi. <laughs> now, Gasper, are you going to are you going to weigh a big fish? No. All right, let's set him up in there. Gasper, you need 1.52 to make it. You did that. You got 9.20. That 9.20 puts you somewhere right around, oh, I don't know, that place that you love so much. Let's call it first place. All right, so now you're in first place on the coast side. How are you feeling about staying there? That's fine. That's good. Yeah. All right, we won't reserve you a room. We'll be back tomorrow, and hopefully you'll be back tomorrow fishing. <laughs> I'll right, be here. Thank you. All right, come on up here, Mr. Philip Garcia. You going to weigh a big fish today, Philip? Nope. All right, let's set him up in here. You need 9.98. You're going to be just under that at 8.78. You didn't quite make the top 10, but hey, you're going to be fishing somewhere tomorrow, maybe, or just sitting at home. Sit at home. All right, man, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. All right, Jason Bouvier is coming up here. You going to weigh a big fish at all? No. Okay, send him in. Jason, you need 2.897 to make it. You got 8.96. Wait, you were looking for? Nope. That's all right. Uh, It'll work. I just want to say hello to my daughter. She's up in Bremerton, Washington in the Navy. I love you, baby girl. Easton, my grandson. My wife and my dad are out there somewhere. <laughs> so thank you, everybody, coming out. Thanks, Gold Country. Thanks, Bam. Thank you for being a part of it. Here you go, Jason. All right, our next angler coming up right now, Mr. Ken Ma, your MFL, MLF champion. You going to weigh a big fish at all? Negative. No big fish. All right, set him up in there. You need 14.70. He's got 16.25. Oh, you were so close. It was 16.24, but just because you were off, I'm going to knock it off. 6.24. 6.24. All right, man, thank you for coming out. We really appreciate it. Ken, tell us a little bit how it changed for you. I know you struggled a little bit yesterday. Today, did it get any better? Get it? It just just couldn't figure them out. Yeah, I just uh, I don't spend enough time here. You know, it's really what you know. I'm more familiar with Shasta, and I just don't spend enough time here. So, uh, it, it reflects in your uh, it reflects in your work, right? You don't put the work in. This is this is what you weigh in. So, um, I, I I tried to change some things. I did. I caught actually more fish today. Uh, Roy was in second place on the co-angler side, so I wanted to make sure that uh, he stays in there. So. Uh, you know, you just you got to fish hard. You know, from from dark to dark is what I always say. You got to fish hard, and uh, you know, if I want to do better, I got to do more work. All right. Well, I know you will because you are that kind of gentleman. So hey, thank you. We'll see you at the next event. All right, our next angler coming up. We've got him. He's Mr. Roy Desmangles Jr. <laughs> Let's set your fish up in there. No big fish today. No All right. You needed 5.14. You got that pretty easy. 7.39. Now, it's tough from behind the boat, but you're fishing with guys like Ken Ma, and they are true professionals and helping you out out there, making sure you get some fish. Yeah, and anybody that's uh, sitting at home that wants to get out and fish with some of the greatest fishermen in the world, and I did that today, 
Uh, Ken's not only one of the best in the West, he's one of the best in the country. We had a good time, we laughed, we, we just, from morning unt until just a little bit ago, we had a great, great time. And I hear the Bouvier family's out here, what's happening? <laughs> and uh, I, I'd like to thank uh, the staff. A lot of times we don't say enough about the staff of BAM, and they've been treating us real good up here, and we really appreciate everybody coming out to see us. Thank you. All right, Roy, thank you very much. I hope we see you tomorrow, but... We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right, now let's bring up Mr. Zach Thompson. He's going to come up here. He's going to put his fish down. You, you think you're going to, that's, you want, what do you want, 18 pounds, 20 pounds? Okay. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to have 8.20. How much did I need? Where, where did I put me? You needed 530. So that puts you in right now, and it puts you in sixth place. Are you feeling pretty comfortable with that? No, no I'm not feeling comfortable with that. Uh, today was a tough day. I want to say hi to my wife, Cassandra, my kids, Charlotte and Sawyer. Frank at DCR, everybody at St. Croix and Seven Reels and Spearpoint and Costa. You know, it was a great event yesterday. Today it was just tough. I tried to adjust and uh, just didn't catch them. So hopefully I, I we'll see what happens, but I'm pretty sure I'm not fishing tomorrow. All right, Zach. Well, if we don't see you, thank you for coming up here. We really appreciate it. We'll see you at the next event. All right, next coming up, we got Mr. Andrew Richter coming up here. Andrew, it tells me you need 7.69. You going to weigh a big fish today? Nope. All right, set him up in there. We've got it coming in. Need a 7.69, just shy at 5.73. Thanks for coming out. You want to thank anybody out there? Okay, thank you. All right, man. Thanks for coming out today. We'll see you out next event. Okay, let's see. Coming up right now, we got Jason Bradshaw. Jason, no big fish? Nope. All right, set him down in there. You needed 17.55. You're just shy at 8.96. Maybe not just, but you were at 896. Hey, good day out there. Thanks for coming out and playing with us. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Brad McCarthy, Nick? All right. Brad McCarthy coming on up here. Now, Brad, you need 17.55. That's a big smile you got right there. You got 17.55. He's dog. You got to weigh a big fish today? No, I'm not. All right. We'll set him up in there. Let's see what you got anyways. Looking for 17.55. He's going to have 8.38. Not quite there. You get a day off tomorrow. You're going to rest up and get ready for the next event? Yep. All right. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Coming up now, we got Mr. Bo Allen. Bo, you need 1128. You going to weigh a big fish? No, not today. All right. Set him up in here. He's looking for 1128. He's going to end up with 8.51. Thank you for coming out. You're not going to quite make the cut, but we'll probably see you at the next event. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I want to thank Gold Country Casino for uh, helping me out and taking care of me. And so, and I want to thank my family, and hopefully I do better at the next one. All right, thank you for coming out, sir. All right, now we've got our co-angler champion from Shasta, Mr. Chris Trumbull, coming up here. You want to weigh a big fish today? Yeah. All right, he's going to weigh a big fish. Don't, don't weigh him now. We're going to set them all up in here. He's looking for an 8.31 to make it to tomorrow. 10.78, he did that. All right, let's pull that big fish out. Put him down there. <laughs> Show that big fish off real quick. Get some pictures of that thing. That's a nice Oroville bass. All right, set him down in there, and he's going to be... 2.75. That's a quality fish for here for sure. 2.7. How were those fish biting today for you? It, I had a limit by 10. Um, caught a lot of fish today, a lot more than yesterday. Um, bite slowed down in the afternoon. Yeah, I didn't, didn't do much calling after the afternoon. Well, hopefully tomorrow you'll be around? Yeah, hopefully. All right, let's see them. Give me one second, he changed my bag. Hold on one second, he changed my bags on me, Nick. Gotta make sure they're at least all right. All right, next coming up right now, we got Mr. Nick Cloutier. Come on up here, Nick. <laughs> you gonna weigh a big fish today? All right, let's set him on in there. You needed 9.72. You just squeaked in with 9.75. Now, I'm pretty sure that's probably not going to hold out with the guys that are behind you and the caliber of the guys. You want to say thanks to anybody out there? 
Yeah, definitely want to thank uh, my wife at home. Uh, she's been taking care of our kids and uh, gone fishing marine, Ranger boats, the new 520R. It's an amazing boat, uh, powered by Mercury Pro XS 220 or 250. Uh, Phoenix rods, seven reels. Hold on a second. I always do this. Uh, P line, first gen, G wrap baits, next gen lithium. I think I got it. And that right there is why they wear the jerseys. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for coming up. We really appreciate it. And we'll hope we see you at the next event. All right. Coming up right now, Mr. Scott Whiteman. One fish. One fish. You got a, no, well, you know what? Big fish. <laughs> All right. And that was a 1.40. You needed 10.17. It didn't print. So. I don't need it. All right, man. Thank you. We'll see you at the next event. All right. Coming up right now, Mr. Mark Mello. Mark, come on up here. Let's get some fish weighed. It tells me you need 12.75 to get in the top 10. You gonna weigh a big fish? No. All right, let's set him up in there. 12.75 is what he's looking for. He is gonna end up with, with just under 10.30. Please, Brent. There we go. <laughs> well, make sure you get your tag here. Mark, you wanna thank anybody out there? Um, no, not, not really, no. All right. Well, thanks for coming and playing anyways. All right. Duke Kanaya coming up here. Duke, it tells me you need 1770. You going to weigh a big fish? Nope. All right. Let's set him up in here. Maybe you didn't need a big fish. 1770s we're looking for? 8.75. Not quite there. You won't be fishing with us tomorrow, but we appreciate you coming out. You want to thank anybody out there? Uh, I just want to thank Dobbins Rod for helping me out with my rods and thank Mark, uh, my first day partner and... Uh, Joe, uh, my first day partner, um, he did good. I hope he had a good bag today. All right. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate you. All right, our next angler coming up, Mr. Scott McKenzie. Come on up here. Scott, you going to weigh a big fish? Nope. All right. Let's set him up in there. You need 12.62, Scott. Just outside with 8.12. Not quite going to make the cut, but thanks for coming out and playing with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. For See you, everybody. All right, next one coming up right now. We've got Matt Meliff coming up. Matt's not even going to weigh a big fish. He's coming up. He needed 14-14. He's got the 414 part of it. Just a little shy, but hey, thanks for coming out and fishing with us. We really appreciate it. Anybody else you want to thank? Um, nope, just everybody for coming out. All right, that's what we'd like to hear. Thank you for coming out. Uh, let's see. Joe Mariani coming up here. You going to weigh a big fish? Nope. All right, set him in there. Joe's coming in. He needed 10.45. He's got 9.48 just outside of that. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Our next angler coming up is going to be Dan Cranston. Dan, come on up here. Dan, you need 14.16. You going to weigh a big fish? No. All right. Send him on in there. I don't even know if I have the four at that point. <laughs> well, you do. You have 4.62. You didn't quite make the cut, but hey, do you want to thank anybody out there? Yeah, I want to thank my wife. Say hi to my kids. Um, they're my love and my support. Love you guys. See you tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for coming out. All right. Our next angler kind of got up to the stage. This guy did it yesterday pretty good, and he only needs 8.23 to get into the top. Mr. Asher Haynes, come on up here, Asher. You going to weigh a big fish today? Yep. Okay, so let's put them all in there. Take that out. You don't get two of those. It doesn't matter. 10.43. He needed 8.23. All right. Let's pull that out. Pull that big fish out. Show him off to the camera. Show him off to the millions of people out there watching. We'll set him back in there. Let's see what this one goes. 3.06. 3.06. Right now, you're sitting inside the top 10. You feeling good about being here tomorrow? I think so. I mean, we'll see if it holds. I hope it does. But uh, if not, yeah, I just want to thank my sponsors for this season, uh, Arch Key Solutions and Sprig Electric and uh, Katie Haynes Homes. Thank you guys for uh, making it possible this season. All right, man. Well, thank you. I hope we see you tomorrow. All right, our next thing we're coming up right now is Mr. Steve Klein. Steve. Good, man. Now, how are you doing? Because you need 10.68. You feeling pretty confident? You got a big fish to weigh? Okay, after we're going to be a big fish. So let's set him down. 
Needed 1063, 1068. He has 1049. Not quite there. You want to weigh the big fish now? Let's pull him out. Let's pull him out. Show him off to the crowd. Show him to the people out there watching in YouTube world. There's a nice Orville bass right there. All right. Here, hold him up one more time. Come over just one step towards me. Show him off to all those people right there. That camera, that camera, that camera. Showing off these beautiful Orville bass. Let's set him up in here. Where do you weigh him? Yeah. <laughs> Ten point or two two point six two. Sorry about that. Ten, two point six two. I want to say ten so bad for you, but <laughs> we'll do the two point six two. All right, good fish right there. Thanks for coming out, and we will see you at our next event. All right, our next thing they're coming up is Mr. Steve Frick. Come on up here, Steve. Now Steve needs eleven forty eight to make it to the top. You gonna weigh a big fish? No. All right, set him up in there. Give you that. 8.57, not quite going to make it. You want to thank anybody out there, Steve? Yeah, I do. I want to thank Lost Coast Pirates Bait and Tackle. Steve and Ryan really been hooking me up with some good tackle. Uh, it's available at North Valley Tackle here in Orville. I want to thank uh, Darren and Nicole for putting me up. Uh, it's just a great place. And, uh, and last but not least, my wife and uh, Highway Specialty. Thank you. All right, thank you for coming out and fishing with us. We really appreciate you being here. All right, our next one coming up, Mr. Jeff. Boom. Jeff, you need 1243. Uh, you going to weigh a big fish after this? Okay, so go ahead. Send him in there. 8.74. 8.74. Not quite going to make the cut. There's that. Thank you for coming out and fishing with us. You want to say thanks to anybody? Yeah, I want to thank Mark and the BAM Tournament Series um, for doing all this for everybody. But that's all right. This will still go ahead and spend. And it's a $250 gift card to Tackle Warehouse for coming out and doing this. Let me give you this card to hold up. We want to let everybody out there see that you won this event. These camera right here, that camera right there, everybody out there watching. He came out. He may not have taken home a check, but he's taken home a $250 check from Tackle Warehouse. Sorry, guys. Yep, we're going to weigh a big fish. Okay, it's good. And that big fish is going to go 2.84. Good job, my friend. All right. Hold that one up right there for the crowd, for the cameras. And come right over here real quick. Stand right there and show, show that big fish off to those ca that camera right there. I know. All right. Thank you, sir. Get it afterwards. All right, Mr. William Ponting coming up here. Now, William, you going to weigh a big fish today? Yep. Okay, hold, give me one second. Okay, go ahead. Make sure that's off there. He's looking for 1115. 1088, 1088. Not quite there, but we can weigh your big fish. Let's pull this out. We'll weigh your big fish and see if maybe you can get a nice check that way. Show him off to the camera right there, and then step over this a little bit. Show it off to that camera right there. That's a great Orville fish. Let's show him all. That's great. 3.30. Good fish. Oh, anyway. Yeah, here's this one. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. Zero it out. Okay, perfect. Next one coming up, we got Mr. Kong Mua. I think I, think I nailed that one, Kong. All right, man. Set him in there for a second. Are you going to weigh a big fish? It tells me you need 7.09. Let's set those fish in here and see what you get. 7.09 is what he's looking for. Oh, 6.11, almost there, but not quite. Thank you for coming out. Do you want to say anything to anybody? Yeah, uh, thank you to my brother, Taz. He's the, Go on uh, over here. Oh, yeah. Those millions of people <laughs> want to see you. Thank you to my brother, Taz. He's the owner of 559 Fresno Bait and Tackle. He's sponsoring my whole season this year. If you guys ever find yourself in the Fresno area, stop by one of the best tackle shops in the Central Valley. Uh, thank you to you guys, Bam, Mark, Lazane, for putting on the circuit. We appreciate it. Everybody here today, appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate that. Have a good trip. Yeah, see you next month. 
All right, coming up right now, we got Kenneth Cleveland. Kenneth, come on up here. Kenneth, you only need 1131. You going to weigh a big fish today? No. All right, let's set him up in here. 1131, 992, not quite there. You want to say thanks to anybody out there? Yeah, thanks to uh, everyone that helps me get along. Uh, ben Green uh, Insurance Agency, uh, Cope's Tackle and Rod, Cali Custom Pools, um, 5 1 Trucking, and my wife for taking care of the kids while I'm gone. All right, thank you. We'll see you at the next event. All right, coming up right now, we got Ryan McIntosh. Ryan? How you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? That's the, that's the important question today. You need 1076. Oh, so close. 924, 924. Not going to quite make the 10 the ten cut, but thanks for coming out and fishing with us. We really appreciate it, man. Thanks. Thank you. All right. All right, our next angler coming up right now is going to be Chris Van Cliff. All right. Now, you got a big fish to weigh? Okay, set him up in there. You need 10.22. <laughs> you got 7.47. All right, so you're not going to make tomorrow, but hey, you want to say thanks to anybody out there? I'd like to thank Bam. This is a fun tournament. Uh, my two pros were awesome, and I had a good weekend. All right, my friend. Thank you for coming out. All right, our next angler coming up here. Anybody? There we go. All right, our next angler is going to be Mr. Ray Huff coming up. Now, Ray needs 1140. Ray, you going to weigh a big fish today? All right, let's set him up in there. You need 1140. Let's see what this thing says up here. 9.48, not quite there. Hey, do you want to say thanks to anybody out there? Yeah, um, I thanks for uh, Arden uh, Rods and Reels for supporting me. Um, great products. Zingo's Cafe, uh, ARE Napa Auto Parts in Porterville, and Michael S. Parent, uh, attorney at law. All right, man, thank you for coming out. We really appreciate it. Hope we see you at your next event. Okay, our next angler coming up here right now, Mr. Tommy Rice. Tommy, come on up here. You need 7.78. You gonna weigh a big fish today? Uh, no. All right, let's set him up in there. You're gonna weigh in at 8.37. That's gonna put you in the top 10 right now. You got a lot of confidence in staying there? I do. All right, well, then we'll see you tomorrow. Here, let me give you these fish, because I don't want them. You caught them, you can have them. All right, sir, thank you. All right, our next angler coming up here. This guy needs 7.80, Mr. Scott Stanfield coming up here. Let's weigh these fish. You need 7.80. You going to weigh a big fish today? No. All right, set them up in there. Let's see what you get. 7.80 is what we're looking for. Just at 7.47, that puts you in the top 10 right now. Now, I know there's a lot of good anglers behind you, but you want to say thanks to anybody? Oh, I want to thank uh, Bass, uh, Bass Union Fishing, Tug Life, uh, Luz, Strike King, Veterans for Hunting and Fishing. Uh, you guys, your whole staff is amazing. I've seen some of this off the camera work, and you're hands down um, understaffed, but you do an amazing job. So, yeah, thank you, and I hope I get to fish tomorrow, right? Am I 10th? Ninth? Right now, that puts you... Just missed it. Get out. Right down, yep, just out. <laughs> All right, our next angler coming up right now. Let's bring him up here, everybody. Mr. Eugene Downing. Come on, Eugene. Now, you need 9.06. You going to weigh a big fish today? All right, let's set him up in there. You need 9.06. He gets, oh, just 8.24, just under the cut. You're not quite going to be there for tomorrow. But, hey, you want to thank anybody out there? Uh, I want to thank my pro, Scott. For getting me on the fish today, we caught tons of fish. It was a great time. All right, thank you for coming out. We'll hopefully see you at the next event. All right, let's bring up Mr. Bo Jody. Come on, Mr. Bo. Come on up here. You need 12.34. You gonna weigh a big fish today? Nope. All right, 12.34 is what he's looking for. He's gonna end up with 9.74, just outside the cut. Bo, did you have a good day out there today, and you want to thank anybody? I did. I had, I had a real fun day today. I uh, want to thank my wife and all my sponsors, uh, especially Garmin, today. I went to work with that rib bait and watched all kinds of fish eat it. It, I, it was a lot of fun today. 
All right, man. Well, thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. We'll see you at the next event. Thank you. All right. Now coming up to the stage, we got Mr. Ryan Hall coming on up here. Now, Ryan needs 8.92. You going to weigh a big fish today? All right, set him, let's set him up here for just a second. Nope, we're not going to weigh the big fish right now. We're going to set them all in here. 8.92 is what he's looking for, and he's got it at 9.87. Now, you're just in there. Now, let's pull those out. We'll weigh that, pull that big fish up, show them off to the cameras, step over to right about here, show them off to the millions of people out there watching. That cameraman right there, put him up in there. Let's see what he goes. 2.96 is what he ends up. All right, that puts you in seventh place overall. Is that going to hold up for you? Oh, man, I don't know. I, I didn't think I even had a chance to make the cut today. It was a little bit of a grind. The wind died on me. Um, the bite on my Picasso A-Rig just went to, went to heck. So, um, But I'm glad to be in a position to maybe have a chance. So we'll see what happens. Well, we hope to see you out here tomorrow. Thank you for coming out today. All right. All right, next one coming up right now. Mr. Joe Orozco. All right, Joe. I'll tell you what. You need 9.39 to make the cut. You going to weigh a big fish today? Set him in there. You're going to make the cut at 10.45. Now, you fish this lake a lot. That puts you, let's see, right now, that puts you in seventh place. How are you feeling about staying there? Hey, I'm happy with it. Make championship, championship Sunday. I'm happy. Home Lake, awesome crowd, awesome uh, awesome venue, and uh, thank you guys for coming out here. want to thank Wood Brothers Carpet, Dobbins Rods, Buck and Bass, and Bass Union. Thank you, guys. All right, man, take these with you. There you go. Thank you. Hope to see you tomorrow. All right, right now, coming up here, Mr. Chuck Cavros. Chuck, you needed 10.10. .10. You have 3.89. Want to thank anybody out there today? Well, I just want to thank the guys over there atop this, and then also Johnson's Bait and Taco for hanging in there while I'm out here playing. So thank, yeah, thank you guys for everything. All right. Thank you for coming out. We really appreciate you being out here. All right, my next angler coming up. Mr. Mark Crutcher, come on up here. All right, Mark, you need 10.55. Set them in there. You've got 8.94, 8.94. Now, do you want to weigh that big fish? All right, let's pull them out, pull them up over here. We're going to have you take all the fish out, set them down there. Hold that one up for the cameras. That camera, step towards me just a little bit and show them to the millions of people out there watching right now. Set him in there, and let's see, we're going to end up with... 3.03, 3.03. It's a good fish for right there for Orville. All right, here you go. All right, thank you. All right. Hold on one second. I got to wait till I see somebody coming up here so that I know who who's coming in. Now, I know who's coming in. But if they don't put the right name up there, send them down there for just a second. Okay, so Craig Maine is coming up here. Craig, you need 1.61 to make the cut. I know you've got 1.61, but let's set him up in there and show the rest of the world how your 1.61 stands up. 9.48, 9.48. Did you want to weigh a big fish? All right, so you got 9.48. You're in the cut right now. They're trying to take you out of back there. You hear them, right? Oh, God, that's crazy. All right, so that puts you right now. That puts you in at sixth place, fifth place right now. There's a few anglers more to go, but you're feeling comfortable? I'm feeling comfortable. All right, let's get this out of here. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow then. Thanks, guys. All right, now coming up, Mr. Ryan Friend. Ryan, you need 12.53. Let's set those fish in there. 9.90, not quite going to make the top. Let me hold on a second. Let me get it to print. I'm going to push it like seven more times, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, Ryan, thank you for coming out. Hey, well, thanks some people. Yeah, real quick, I want to thank uh, my wife, my friends, my family, everybody here, and congrats to the guys that made the top ten. Good luck to all my buddies that are going to make it tomorrow. Go get them. Thank you, Ryan. We appreciate you. 
All right, let's bring up Mr. Michael Clem. Michael, come on up here. You need 12.15. <laughs> you got a big fish in there. You're going to come in at 11.27. 11.27. You can weigh a big fish. So pull, I'm just going to pull them out over here. We throw this up in here. I'm going to have you hold that thing up, show it off to the camera, show it off to this young lady over here taking pictures. Put, just pull this up. There you go. There it is right there. That is a beautiful Oroville bass. All right. Set him down in there. And that one's going to go 3.89, 3.99, sorry. My glasses don't let me see so good. All right, thank you for coming out, man. How do we do with anything? Commercials, anything we're going to, anything we're... All right, Mr. Dante Ray's coming up. Dante, you need 7-Eleven. Are you going to weigh a big fish? No. But you didn't need to. You had 7.48, and that will right now put you in the top 10. Now, there's a few anglers left, but I'm not seeing a ton of them. I don't know, man. We got a couple left, so I'm gonna go out here and cross my fingers. <laughs> All right, take these, take these on with you. All right, thank you. All right, coming up right now, we got Mr. Billy Hines. Come on up here, Billy. Now, Billy, you need 13.37. That's a good weight on Orville. How you feeling about it? I'm not gonna have 13.37, but I'd sure like it. 8.60 is what you're gonna have, though. So. Here's this part. You're not going to make the cut, but hey, you come out of your fish. You want to thank anybody? Yeah, I think Gone Fish Marine, Mercury Marine, Ranger, Garmin, all those guys helped me come out. My wife, absolutely 100%, is the best woman in the world. She gets me out here and lets me come out and do what I do. So I appreciate her and I appreciate everybody for coming out and watching. So thank you very much. All right, Billy. Thank you very much for coming out here and fishing with us. All right, our next coming up, Mr. Brad Bonino coming up here. Now, Brad, you need 8.29. Brad, you've got 8.16. So close. You're not going to quite fish tomorrow, but you want to say thanks to anybody out there? Dang. No, I'd like to uh, thank uh, my main supporter, my wife, Kim. Hi, honey. And uh, Bam and uh, Ray Huff and Billy Hines. All right, man. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for fishing with us. We really appreciate it. We'll see you at the next event. All right, our next angler coming up, Mr. Me Jacob Marquat coming up here. All right, Jacob, you need 13.69. Set those down for just a second. You going to weigh a big fish today? All right, let's set them up in here. 13.69 is what we're looking for. Just under that with 10.08. 10.08. Still a good day, but you want to thank some people out there for coming out? I'd like to thank uh, Johnny De La Rosa at DTS Fab, uh, Peter Julevich out here. He's been making all my jigs, so and that's, what, that's what's been getting them. So. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for fishing with us. We really appreciate you being up here. We'll see you at the next event. All right. Our next angler coming up is going to be Mr. Will Harris. Come on up here, Will. Now, Will, you need 9.60. Do you want to weigh a big fish today? All right, let's set them all up here. You need 9.60. You're so close. 8.15. 8.15. Now, you're not going to quite make the cut, but you want to say thanks to anybody out there? Uh, yeah, both of my pros. Uh, two good days. Learned a ton from them both. All right, well, thank you for coming out and finishing with us. We really love you being here. We'll see you at the next event. All right, right now, that's going to be the scales are going to be closing very shortly. We're waiting for just a couple more anglers. It would give everybody a chance. If you keep raising your hands like that, Zach, you're not getting a chance. <laughs> We're sending you back to the Delta. All right, right now, we've got leading this whole thing is our Shasta champion at 2519, Greg Gutierrez. We got J.R. Wright with 24.67 in second place. Aaron Britt, who was the day one leader, dropped down a couple notches, but hey, he's right there at 24.36. Don't put him out of the game at all. 
And then coming in in fourth right now, we got Wyatt DeBusk. We got Asher Haynes at 2370. We got Antonio Gold at 2351. Joseph Orozco at 2341. Ryan Hall at 2270. Zach Thompson at 2259. And Steve Hoover. Rounding out the top 10 at 2240 on the pro side. Our co-anglers out there. This guy loves to sit in first place. He's done it a lot. We've only been doing this for two events, and he's been in first place more times than not out of that one. But Gaspar Musolacci is sitting at 21-27. Jason Bouvier right there, 21-23 for second. Rodney Brown, 20-59. Chris Trumbull, our champion, our co-champion at Shasta. He's vying for it here. He wants it. I can see it in his eyes down there. He's at 20.02. We got Craig Mains in there at 1976. Kirk Marshall, 1949. Roy Dismangles, Jr., 1919. James Rogers, 1883. Tommy Rice, 1829. And rounding out our top 10, Mr. Dante Ray. Those are our co-anglers. We're giving it a little bit more time before we're going to close the scales. But it's coming. They're giving me a countdown. Five. We're going to close these scales in four. Three, two, scales are closed. This is who it's going to be out there. Come back out. These guys all made the top ten. They're vying for the big money and the prestige and the giant trophy that we're going to give away right down there. They all want it. They all can come and try to get it and come back out here tomorrow, and that's to see who's going to be the Orville Stage 2 champion of the BAM Trail. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard-to-find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click. Save. Fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line, and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder.